Hi, I'm Ron Henry. Thanks for joining me for this book, Laser, Quantum Acupuncture, and Therapy. We're going to be talking about how to use therapeutic lasers as both an alternative to needle therapy when used in acupuncture, but also as a powerful and effective means of treating conditions of trauma, inflammation, and pain without the use of drugs or surgery. The common thread here is that we're using lasers in their various forms, which means also various powers and various wavelengths, to treat either points on the acupuncture meridians or else the physical tissues of the body themselves. These lasers range from, for instance, 5 to 50 milliwatt devices, which are very low powered, up to instruments that provide 25 watts or more. And you will learn how to use laser therapy in your own clinical practice to benefit patients that might not otherwise be helped by any other means. I'm a chiropractor, acupuncturist, and naturopath, and I've been in practice for almost 40 years, four decades. And I'm eager to share what I have learned with you. So let's get started. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. This is one of my favorite quotes from the science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke, which I came to appreciate the more I discovered about using lasers in a therapeutic, non-surgical way. When I first became aware of therapeutic lasers, and this was back in the 1980s, I was actually fairly skeptical about their usefulness for doing any kind of meridian therapy. And because of that, I kept using needles, even though many patients were reluctant to be treated that way, and frankly, some just downright refused. Originally, I did some initial experiments with very basic low-power devices, where I started treating selected acupuncture points on sensitive patients and children. Now in our office, we have a wide range of modern lasers, and these often work like magic. Anywhere from a 12-diode fiber optic laser needle system that comes from Germany, and we use this for doing laser acupuncture, to a 25-watt class 4 unit that we use primarily for treating a broad range of musculoskeletal conditions, ones that usually involve inflammation and pain. Also, although still considered to be experimental, I've also seen many additional benefits for some internal organs and glands as well. It seems that therapeutic laser technology is rapidly coming out of its infancy, and it holds the potential to become a powerful form of healthcare in its own right, possibly side by side with chiropractic traditional Chinese medicine, physiotherapy, and nutrition. In many ways, this reflects a whole new emerging paradigm that is currently taking place in our very understanding of health, one that is expanding from a purely biochemical model of healing towards a larger picture, which includes our growing awareness of energy-based principles of life itself. But there remains a degree of skepticism, I know, both amongst the general public and also with many healthcare providers themselves regarding the usefulness of these light-based technologies. This is partly due to the fact that while laser therapy has already been accepted by many practitioners in Asia and Europe, and some of these as early as the late 1970s, it has only started becoming popular in North America in the last decade or two. Even though there is sufficient data currently available on the use and on the effectiveness of laser therapy, there is still a degree of confusion among practitioners regarding what lasers actually are, 
how they operate, what they can treat, and maybe most importantly, how to implement them into their own clinical practice. There's a growing number of books and manuals on laser therapy and acupuncture, but many of them are either too specialized or else too simplified. This is why there's a need for individual researchers and practitioners to make their findings available so that those who follow in their footsteps are able to use lasers to their fullest capacity and benefit. Thus, we wrote Laser, Quantum Acupuncture and Therapy, which is available on Amazon.com in both print and electronic version.